A warm night's out on the patio with a great book. Such a nice way to relax in the spring and summer. Melissa Dalton Martinez from Book Break is back with her book recommendations for May and not a moment too soon for me. That's right. We're, I, we're getting into warmer weather and kids are about to be out of school. It's time to start relaxing with a good book. I told you I love to just peruse bookstores. Yes. I like to just walk around and lose myself in the backs of the books, right? Because yes. you want to know, should I read this? Should I not? So that's why you're here today. Which What's our first book? What should we dive into? Too. So the first one here is a historical romance. It's called The Weight of Salt. And this is a, a Utah author that wrote this one. And it takes place in 1906, Florida. And it is based on a true story. So it's by Sandra Montanino. And it's actually her grandmother's story. And her grandmother, her great grandmother rather, um, passed away when Angelina Perillo um, actually was a young girl. And suddenly, at 15 years old, she becomes the head of this household as the mother figure. But she has a very strict Sicilian Italian father and who's very much into the old ways. So she's a super independent woman. Women's suffrage movement is going on. And she is not interested in an arranged marriage, but her father is. And she wants to love. She wants to marry for love. And her father just can't see that. And so she's really mixed on her feelings. Do I follow my father or do I follow my own heart? Sounds like a Disney movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, doesn't yeah. it? So it's about love, it's historical, it's yes. based on a true story. Yes, and the, the research that Sandra Montanino did on this is very clear because it is very much accurate. I mean, this took place in a part of Florida that was the cigar capital of the world, and cigars were a really big industry, especially then in Florida. So you get in insights that you might not get otherwise into both Italian culture, Cuban mm. culture, Spanish culture. I just loved this what book. What I love about it too is Utah author. Yes. Let's support our Utah authors. All right, book number two is called In Times of Rain and War. Yeah, so this one is also on the historical, and there's definitely some romance on it, but this is World War II, and you have an American who really wanted to join the war effort, but at that time, the United States had not joined World War II, so he chose, as an American representative, went to England and helped as a bomb diffuser, and the average lifespan of those people was 10 weeks, and and he dealt with some pretty wow. interesting things. And at the same time, we learn about another woman who is actually German hiding in England, trying to not let anyone know she's German because she wants to live and she was Jewish. And so you get this rich history. Um, they become good friends and you follow that story. And it is really about the love of people, of romance, of Brotherhood, fellowship, it's it's a great And historical. if you like historical fiction, I mean, yes. you can dive into this one. Absolutely. You asked me if I liked that, and I said, I love love. Yes. I think love is timeless, and yeah. I love the stories they weave yeah. all around it. And one of the things that's fun about Cameron Wright, the author of Rain and War, is he is actually offering a free ebook. So when you finish this book, um, he tells you how you can go and get a free ebook too. I love it too, though. That's about strength and resilience. Yes. Two things that I think people right now really mm -hmm. would like to like to read and know how to yeah. incorporate in their own lives. The last book is called Come Sweet Day, Holding On to Hope in Dark Times. Speaking of yes, right now. Absolutely. So Julianne Donaldson is the author of this one. And what I like about it is one, there's beautiful images in it. And two, it's a collection of poems and, and essays that you can just take one at a time. Like if you're having a bad day, you can grab it, pick it up, and just read one essay or one poem. Or if you want to read it from cover to cover, you can do that too. But it's just uplifting. Anytime you need just a snippet of something to uplift you, this is a great one that you'll keep on the shelf forever. Have you had those moments at night where you don't have 30 minutes, but you mm -hmm. have 10? Exactly. And you don't want to dive into something, you just need to be uplifted. Mm -hmm. This is that book? That is this book for sure. Come Sweet Day. Just for women or would you say universal? Oh, I think it's definitely universal. Okay. Yeah. Anyone could read this I one. I mean, you, you are going to see more women buying this book than men, but I definitely think you're going to be uplifted whether you're a man or a woman. And she, by the way, is a best-selling romance author. And yes. she's revealing, this is like an inside look into it her is. thoughts it and is. feelings. And you you learn some of the struggles that she went through. Not and how just she 
overcame that. Not just characters, right? This That's is, right. This is personal. This is about her. Okay, where can people find these books? So you can find these books. I mean, probably the easiest one is you can jump on Amazon.com. Um, you can also go to my website, thebookbreak.com, and learn more about all of these. And you can enter to win any one of these books for free. And so we're going to announce the winners in just a couple of days. So you're going to want to jump in and enter as soon as you can. I love that you're doing that. Thebookbreak.com. Everybody winners notified on Friday, May 1st. So that is coming up. So don't forget to hop on. Go to our website and we'll link you abc4.com slash gtu.